I'm about to listen to Humanity Chapter 1 for the first time. Seeing some people's reactions online, I've gotten a couple spoilers, unfortunately. But I haven't listened to any of it yet, I haven't heard any previews, and I am quite optimistic. So here we go. Hang on. Now I'm ready. What are they singing? Reminds me a bit of Hymn to Life. Oh, reminds me of Compass. Ah. I already like beautiful people a lot. And it's barely started. Ah. Build up incoming. On to wings. Can't wait to hear what he does with this melody. Little like run free. Ooh. There we go. I wanted it to go big again. Hmm. Okay, La Pelle du Vide, which I hear is a track that some of us heard years ago. Yep. It's about time. Sinking right into the stone. I'm so glad this is finally released. <laughs> been busy with that one for the last four years. <laughs> That's in orbit. All of the silence. Oh. Getting me with the guitar. Woo! I've got chills. Woo! Man! Oh, this is probably my favorite so far. Wow! Whoa! That was new. Now it's time for humanity, which is apparently not the main theme. EDM-esque drums in there, a little bit of guitar, flutes. Yeah, there is kind of a unified sound to this. This is a really vibrant album. That was the <laughs> from uh, Inferni. That was a little distracting. Time for the EDM mashup. See how much I can recognize. Well, that's Orbital. Is Thomas singing? I, I can't believe this track is back in such a big way. I really love In Orbit. I've listened to it so much. It's weird hearing it in a new context. Twice. Had to feel it. There's La Pelle GV. What is happening? <sighs> Wings. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this is so good. Is that the Bulgarian choir from Beautiful People? Oh, man! Wow. Yeah, there was nothing remotely close to this on Illusions or Sun. For this to be alongside everything else on a solo album, that's that's a big statement. I like it. Wish I knew how to sing along. Oh, don't be over. Wow. 
Wow. So how about that? As a follow-up to Illusions and Sun, it, it is the state of the art for Thomas, and there is like a radical discontinuity between this one and Sun, but it's really cool because it's not necessarily new for Thomas to mix EDM with orchestra and have random guitar solos or electronic drums or a Bulgarian choir. Previously, it's been contained to you know, specific tracks. There, there are some big ones, Into Darkness, Emerald Princess, Impossible. But yeah, this is, this is more cohesive. It's like, this is about as close as you can get to mashing up kind of a traditional orchestral sound with total pop EDM stuff with English lyrics and make it all add up and actually seem coherent. And I've only listened to it once. Thomas has done some kind of similar things, but I don't think this much at once before. <laughs> it, it's doing that throughout. And then putting all these melodies together and doing the mashup, that's something really different. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from the other chapters. I, I have to say, One Million Voices sounds nothing like any of these tracks. I, I imagine after we listen through all seven chapters, listen to any one of those and it's still gonna sound like oh that's humanity chapter one that's not from you know chapter three that's not from unleashed or dragon which is really cool tonally the closest thing he's done is sun which was vibrant optimistic but oh boy it makes sun look like it's really playing it safe in retrospect i think humanity there's a lot a lot more surprising moments, like, whoa, where did that guitar solo come from? Where, whoa, okay, okay, oh, we're really going pop here, you know? Like, it's pushing things out a lot further than Sun. There's a lot of things I really love about Thomas's music. You know, I completely love American Dream, which is about as traditional as anything he's ever written gets. Back in 2012, I loved All Is Hell That Ends Well, the infamous dubstep climax track. Since then, and since reading Thomas's post about how dubstep and many genres of music shouldn't be judged, so we shouldn't attach all these cultural ideas to it and exclude all these styles, like it's just other kinds of music. I think that's what really got me to start to understand what Thomas was doing and start to really admire what he was doing. Looking back on Illusions and Sun after listening to Humanity, chapter one, it really feels like he was barely scratching the iceberg on those albums. It incorporated a lot of influences, but it was still mostly orchestral. It was, it was kept just a little bit safe, which was, I'm sure, not at all his intention at the time. So this is how much he's progressed since then. I'm fairly happy with it. I like hearing outrageous stuff from him. It has its own thing. That was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot on my first listening and, you know, I'm not too familiar with all the melodies yet. I can only imagine I'm gonna like this a lot more as I continue to listen to it. So the question is, when does chapter two come out? Thomas says, once enough people have listened to this one and are, and are hungry for it, I would definitely like a week or two alone with chapter one first, get to know it better, and then I'm ready. So, is two weeks okay, Thomas, please? <laughs> Hopefully not more than two months. All right, well, thank you, Thomas. I, I enjoyed that quite a bit. And I'm really looking forward to hearing the rest of humanity. The idea that there's six more albums, basically, like this, but with even more disparate styles, sign me up. You did not have to do this much. You've been insanely productive since you released Sun as it is. This could have been it. You went and did seven albums instead. Thank you so much. Can't wait to listen to it more, and I can't wait for all the other chapters and everything else you do. Thank you, Thomas.